maps is because I'm always getting lost. Find my is because I need to find my people. I need to know where y'all are at. Apple Music increased their prices by a dollar. Let me tell you, if y'all didn't know, now you know. So buy now, pay later. Let's do that. The Roku remote is gone. I lost it and the other one doesn't have batteries. So the app is my saving grace. I try not to give my attention to Zeus Network, but the drama. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mesa, if you're new here and you didn't know, and if you did know, welcome back. I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone Pro 14 Max video, right? Before we even get started, let's be sure that you're subscribed to my channel because if you're not, then what are you doing? I'm gonna give you a second while I clean my camera off. Okay, you should have subscribed by now. If you haven't subscribed, just stay till the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe because you're gonna wanna see more of your girl. Make sure you like this video and yeah, we're about to get right into the video. So first, let me start screen recording my screen. We're good. The first thing you will see when you open up my lock screen is a picture of my dream car. It's an Audi A7. It's the inside of the, the car. It's basically like what I'm going to be looking at every time I get inside of my car. So definitely like a form of motivation for me. As you can see, my reminder went off 59 minutes ago and it says get on your shit. And the reason that it says that is because I need to get on my shit. And I need to get on my shit so I can get the car that I want, which is an Audi A7, which is my lock screen, you feel me? So when we open up my lock screen and we swipe up to my home screen, we see my first page of my home screen. So we're gonna see two stacks on here. The first one has the weather, my battery life for my devices, and maps. I've lived in Atlanta for nearly three years and I never know where I'm going, so maps is essential. And it's in two places on my home screen because it's that essential. The weather is important because the weather really never knows what it's doing. So yeah, moving on, we're going to go to all of my money apps. So these are all of the banking apps that I use. Um, I would say that I also have like my credit cards in here and I'm gonna talk about this in a second, but if you don't have a credit card, you need to go ahead and get you one because this is the age that we're in. But this is mostly where I manage my finances at. My socials are pretty dry right now. Um, I spend a lot of time on LinkedIn and Facebook right now, but I don't have Twitter. I don't have TikTok because TikTok was taking too much of my time. Twitter, I don't know, sometimes a distraction, sometimes super funny, but I still be checking on Safari, I'm not gonna lie. But these are my socials. My Pinterest just has like, <laughs> I'm trying to teach myself how to draw. So my Pinterest has a lot of locks, a lot of like abstract stuff, a lot of apartment, um, Oh, that's a nice, okay. Oh, wow. A lot of apartment inspo. Wow, she did really well. Yeah, like I'm trying to teach myself how to draw. So things like that. Um, a lot of like aesthetically pleasing type of things. Um, that's just on my Pinterest. And Instagram is just Instagram. The usual, the usual. Tumblr is Tumblr, you know. We used to love Tumblr. I'm not fully back into it, but it's there. I sometimes check it. Next, we have the calendar and the camera app. They're both out of a folder because I need those daily. My calendar app, I just check at the beginning of the day to see what meetings I have for people at work, how many meetings I have. Um, I love a no meeting day, but the camera is out because I love to take pictures um, or like random videos. And that is even shown in my home screen. It's the random pictures that I took of these buildings and this view that I saw driving into the city. I really just love pulling out my phone and taking a picture for that. So that's why the camera app is out. The next folder is my work folder. So it's all of my work like things. I'm not gonna open that one, but it's just Slack and like, um, different verification apps, it's really boring. Next is the mail app, the notes and the photos. Those are all out because I use them on a daily basis. So with mail, I'm checking my personal email, my business email that I have in my YouTube bio, and then I'm also checking my work email um, 
on the go just to see what I'm missing, what I need to respond to, what I need to mark as unread because I need to respond to. And the same with my notes. I'm always checking my notes or dropping something in my notes because I have a really bad memory. So yeah, I gotta put it in my notes. Um, and then the next stack is just Spotify, Apple News, a uh, broad view of my calendar and an app called YT Tracker, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. Down here, we just see all of my, I don't know why it's called productivity because it's not productive at all, but it's the way that I chat to my people. So I'll text them, FaceTime, phone, maps is because I'm always getting lost, find my is because I need to find my people. I need to know where y'all are at. Life 360 is the same, but Android version, cause my mom got an Android and Safari and Spotify. I don't use Apple Music anymore because I'm cheap. Apple Music increased their prices by a dollar. Let me tell you, if y'all didn't know, now you know. So do with that information but you will but spotify is very cool i really like spotify so i'm chilling with spotify for right now on the next page of my home screen i have my extra money folder so it's exactly what it says extra money but all of these apps are quite annoying um <laughs> amazon flex is a dub grubhub a dub dasher a dub i could do a separate video literally on each and every one of those apps but um they're there they're extra money when needed so we rocking with them the next folder uh in the simplest of terms i'm going to explain this by saying that this allows me easy access to the business ventures that i would like to go on and i'm going to leave it right there stay tuned for more about that but i'm gonna leave it right there the next folder is adulting because i'm really trying to get my adulting on track okay so the main apps that I want to point out here are Experian and Credit Karma. If you're not tracking your credit score at this current moment and you are, let's say, over the age of 20, let's start doing that because um, credit is important for a lot of the things that we want to do. So download Experian and download Credit Karma. They're both free um, and they give you access to your credit score from each of the three bureaus. So Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Experian has its own app. And if you pay for TransUnion and Equifax, you'll see it there, but Credit Karma has TransUnion and Equifax. So download those two apps, you need those. And from here, I wanna point out ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a really cool app. This almost sounds like it's sponsored, but it's not. <laughs> ZocDoc is a really cool app because you can just put in what you're looking for, what kind of doctor you're looking for, what location you're in, what date you would like to go, and whether or not you have insurance. And they will find you doctors, they will give you the reviews. It's a really cool app. Um, I use it all the time, like literally all the time. That's how I find every doctor's appointment that I go to. So yeah, definitely tap into ZocDoc because we need to start caring about our health. The next folder is all of my content creation. So I use CapCut for TikTok and Reels, Canva for my intro, my outro, my thumbnails, my banner um youtube studio and youtube tracker kind of do the same thing youtube tracker just has more details um it's 20 dollars a year but it tells you more about your analytics um the watch time is a bit different than what's on youtube studio i'm not sure what that's about um and it shows you your views it helps you promote um it's definitely worth the 20 dollars a year like it's not bad at all so i definitely use youtube tracker Next up, let's order, okay? This is lacking because I try not to spend much money ordering things anymore. So Target is just like for doing pickup orders. Um, Afterpay, Klarna, Affirm, let me tell you. I've been using them, buy now, pay later, let's do that. Um, Amazon, top like most used app here. So this is all self-explanatory. It's awful, I can actually delete though. I don't ever look at that app. I hate an app I don't use. The fitness folder just has all of my fitness stuff. This also sounds sponsored, but it's not. But Paceline is a really cool app because like if you have friends and they work out, y'all can like, okay, you can do that with an Apple Watch, like see someone's progress in their workouts. But with Paceline, you can like sign them up with a code and you can get like a gift for signing them up. And then you guys can see what each other is doing in that app. It also offers you, um, like gifts once you reach the 150 minutes in a week i think it is i haven't worked out in a couple of weeks so there's nothing there for me but there's one where they do a one dollar amazon gift card let me tell you 
I be all up on that. So I love Paceline. I love the Paceline app. I'm going to put my sign up link in the bio. If you sign up, use my link so that we can like link with one another. That would be fun. But yeah, these are just fitness apps that I use. Streaming, the usual, you know, all my streaming apps. I'm really locked and loaded. Like, you know, I'll be watching whatever I want to watch, period. Um, the food app just has Kava because I'm always eating Kava and Chick-fil-A because I'm always eating Chick-fil-A. Sam's Club, you have to have the app to show them. But some of them Sam's Clubs don't even care. Like, they don't care if you have a membership or not, which I mess with that. But, like, because either way, like, even if I didn't have a membership, like, don't you got to get your membership card to scan out? So it don't even make sense, but whatever. Um, I have a stocks folder, which just basically has, like, Robinhood, Webull, and Coinbase lifestyle is how i check my rent and make maintenance requests because i'm always doing that suddenly how i get my packages um checking on good notes which i use to budget i don't really use good notes to like take notes i just use it to budget um ticket master going to two concerts this year yeah well one of them is like a comedy show it's drewski's and then a concert so i'm always in ticket master because i definitely want to go to more concerts this year Silver Spot is a really cool movie theater here in Atlanta. I was always going there, so I definitely had that app. I don't have many games on my phone. BitLife is just a game that I can't delete because when you're bored and you literally want to create another life, play BitLife. Like, literally pay, play BitLife. It's, it's almost like Sims, but on like three. Like, you get what I'm saying? Let me show you real quick. I actually love this game. I hope I have a life already created yes i do so you see like i've been playing in like the girl that I, or the guy that i'm playing with is 20 and he's about to age up it's really a fun game <laughs> but um 2048 you don't know about 2048 i'm looking at you sideways 2048 was that game wordscapes was that game i play sudoku all the time i'm like an old person i don't have like the funnest games on my phone but we'll survive. Um, a travel fo folder makes sense. Hotel, Southwest, Spirit. Utilities and random. It's just the random apps that the iPhone give you that I literally hate. Like I hate them so much. Um, iMovie, I was also using to edit some clips for my channel. Google Maps, I now track my mother with that. Yeah, girl, I'm watching you. Um, Group me and Telegram are just like I don't know how to explain it. They're just like apps that you can use for different groups. So group me, I used a lot in school, but I was using it for this workout challenge. Telegram, I'm currently using to participate in a fruit fast with like people across the world. Um, Roku, if you know, you know. The Roku remote is gone. I lost it and the other one doesn't have batteries. So the app is my saving grace. SoundCloud has always been a staple. SoundCloud is always needed like, first of all, I need somewhere to put SoundCloud. I hate having my apps out, so I really need somewhere to put SoundCloud, but I'll think about that later. But SoundCloud is just like where you get all the good music, like even the good old music and then a lot of the TikTok remixes be on SoundCloud. Definitely always need SoundCloud. These, This last one, it's, this page is kind of embarrassing, okay? I try not to give my attention to Zeus Network, but the drama, I just can't stay away. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. So yeah, that's back there because I don't want nobody to see that on my phone. Toro is um, potentially another business venture that you could get into. Just check out Toro. Like, it, it could be considered a business venture for you. That could be very lucrative. So I'm dibbling and dabbling in thoughts about that. Amazon Music, I downloaded to listen to Kiki Palmer's podcast, which I have yet to use, but it's there for me when I'm ready. And that girl Wattpad, Wattpad is that girl, okay? Like the people who be writing them stories need to be like, they need to be like authors for real. Like Wattpad is that girl. But yeah, my phone is pretty chill like i don't have much but i have enough i have everything that i need so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little what's on my iphone 14 pro max and like i said there are a few app gems that i dropped that you need um in your adulting life so if you download those apps 
let me know how you like them i definitely think zocdoc is 100 needed but i really want some people to download paceline and tell me about it and work out with me i need somebody to work out with but anyway thanks for watching this video like i said be sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down below and interact with me a little bit and i'll see you guys in my next video bye